Hello, my name is Deja Austin. I am recording my PowerPoint slideshow for my senior thesis for Cap and State University. I have to cut my thesis presentation down to 10 minutes because uh, my screen recorder is telling me I can't go past 10 minutes. So my name, my thesis is I just want I just know what I'm telling you, what, when and where Song of Solomon Women, Tradition, and Aesthetic. Again, my name is Deja Austin. I am an English major at Capitol State University. The opening paragraph to my thesis, I was told I have to read the whole thing. So in Toni Morrison's Song of Solomon, folk tales and songs are a prominent part of the novel. The novel's protagonist, Milkman, is transformed by exploring and connecting to the African-American old tradition. He learns the old traditions of folklore, spirituals, music, and trickster tales. These traditions help him understand his culture. Milkman is mentally enslaved and has to find himself by going on a journey to finding his heritage. He also gains self-knowledge and empowerment through his findings. The women of the story help guide Milkman either implicitly or explicitly. The most influential women are Pilate, Hagar, Cirque, and sweet. Each of these women play different roles in guiding Milkman through the use of the old tradition. In the end, Milkman has to find himself and his heritage. In Toni Morrison's Song of Solomon, the women are the bearers of the old tradition and they guide Milkman through his journey to finding his culture and self-awareness. And on the screen is my thesis statement. Some of the challenges I faced were finding my thesis topic, developing my thesis statement, rereading the book, the outline process in the first draft, but I have definitely overcome some of these challenges. So, I mean, all of these challenges at this point. And now I think I have a pretty decent thesis. So I hope you all think the same. Uh, Toni Morrison, she was born Chloe Anthony Woodford, February 18, 1931 in Lorraine, Ohio. She graduated from Howard University. She has been a teacher and an editor. She's a, she was a single mother of two kids. And Song of Solomon was her third novel, something important to point out is that she had a childhood interest in the old tradition and she was post black arts movement but she was influenced by it and she developed her own ideas of a black aesthetic. Uh, the black arts movement lasted from 1965 to 1975. Song of Solomon was written in 1977. Um, the black aesthetic was created during the black arts movement and the black aesthetic was an art that speaks directly to the needs and aspirations of the black people. The black aesthetic was meant to create an identity for the black people. Morrison's aesthetic involved more women roles and she was embedded in black culture. She even used codes that connects her work to black cultures throughout her work. Song Solomon is a story that was written in 1977 by Toni Morrison and the protagonist is Milkman Dead. He goes on a journey to finding himself and throughout this journey, he has a lot of different people that help him along, mostly women. And that is pretty much what it's about. Old tradition consists of trickster tales, music, storytelling, folk tales. Um, trickster tales are usually animals and they outsmart the uh, you know, other animal or as the hitting meaning says, they would outsmart the white man. Um, folk tales are usually legendary figures who refuse to submit to slavery. And the music in the Song of Solomon actually discover he discovers a link between the music and the heritage. The Flying African folktale is the main folktale of Song of Solomon. The book starts off with someone thinking they can fly off of the roof, and then it kind of carries the entire story. The literal meaning of the Flying African folktale is slaves literally flying back to Africa after being taken from their homeland. And Morrison believed in magic, so this is something that could have quite literally happened in many people's opinions and the hidden meaning is this is, was a way to escape um flying african being able to escape from bondage was a great way to do that and um that could be one of the hidden meanings of the folktale and this folktale carries the entire story 
Milkman dead. His father, who is Macon dead, is tries to teach him how to be pretty much a white man. So Milkman has these internalized white values and materialism at the beginning. And until he finds Pilot, who is his aunt, he does not know what his heritage is or his culture. And he's very confused about that. And he ends up going on this journey. And Pilot is going to be the one to teach him these old traditions. And Pilot is definitely our first lady. She is in my opinion, one of the main characters in the entire story. She is the reason that Milkman is even alive. At the beginning of the story, she uh, helps Milkman's mother by putting some mixtures together and making her husband more attracted to her. And then after the Milkman's mother gets pregnant with him, she puts some voodoo on her brother, who is Milkman's father, to make sure that he doesn't, you know, try to stop the pregnancy. And yeah, so she helped Milkman come into the world and she carries these powers and this heritage that Milkman has never seen before. So she embodies all of that for him. Pilot continued. She is Afrocentric. She, her house resembles an African village. She looks like Africa. Um, Milkman talks to his father, and his father doesn't like her because she looks like Africa, and she looks like she's an African, and she embodies all of the things that Milkman's father tries to get out of. But Pilot uses different strategies. She uses the trickster strategy to get Milkman and his friend out of jail by outsmarting the white cops. And Milkman is intrigued when he first meets her and he hears Pilot Hagar and Reba. Pilot Reba is Pilot's daughter and Hagar is Reba's daughter. So they all three live together and there is this sense of family and community within Pilot's house. And Milkman hears them sing for the first time, and that is when he is first introduced to his heritage. Hagar is Pilot's granddaughter. She is in love with Milkman, but she's not in touch with her heritage. And Milkman, they are actually cousins, so them being together kind of throws off a lot of the different values that Pilot has with family and the importance of it because of the African-American traditions. Um, Milkman doesn't understand the family unit until near the end of the story and Hagar tries her best to be more white so that Milkman would like her better. Then we have Mrs. Bird who Milkman meets during his journey and she ends up being his cousin and she tells him about that he's a descendant of the flying African and this is the first time that he hears anything like that before in his whole life. So Mrs. Burr introduces him to that idea of the flying African. And this is Cirque. She is the storyteller and she holds a lot of history and events. She's actually not a part of the family. She is the she was Milkman's father's midwife. And um, she tells him stories about his father and about their life and different things that happened to his grandparents and all that. Uh, Pilot at the end, she takes a bullet for Milkman. She asks him to sing for her. And when he sings, he changes the song from Sugar Man to Sugar Girl, which is the exemplifying the fact that he now understands that the women in his life have taught him all these different things and he gives them the part of the song that was originally made for the man and even at the end he's he learns more from her than anybody else and the journey he find he goes to find his gold he travels down south he takes pilot down south with him at the end so she can bury her father and we don't know if he flies. There is like a question of if he flies or not. So that's something else. And then the conclusion, since I'm almost out of time, Milkman Dead finds his heritage. He finds himself. He learns from the women in his life. And does he fly? No one knows still. Um, and he feels bad about Hagar, who ends up killing herself because Milkman doesn't love her. But he learns that his heritage and, and what 
comes from his actions and he sheds all of his materialism as he travels down south and he figure he finds so many uh,